All right, so we're going to do a few more Rate Your Squads. I think this is episode five or six. I'm not too sure what way I'll cut it These up. These are more like a video show off your squad because these this team doesn't need any help. Cruyff, Davids, Pedri. I like the fact that you're using Pedri as an AMF. Um, Romario, super sub on the bench. That's obviously going to be something that you would like to, like to uh, have as a necessity. But yeah, it's a fairly good squad, man. It's a fairly good squad from Andy there. Uh, we also have Busby Boy, Van Nistroy playing a 4 3 3, Van Ronaldinho, Pirlo, Gilberto, Carlos is a left mid, that's interesting. Three centre back meta, Dennis Orwin right back, Neymar is an SS with Van Nistroy. I haven't actually played much with Van Nistroy, but I know that he is a tank. I would probably, if it's me, I would probably switch Tommy Asu and Kunde there. That's the one thing I would do. Um, there, if it was me. You're probably playing deep line on that or else man marking on Carlos would be nice. I put anchoring on Carlos actually for the crosses into Van Nistroy, but a fairly good squad as well. Um, we also have Andrea. This guy is playing on a very dusty Panasonic, <laughs> but a very good squad as well. Similar to the, to the style I have where you isolate a left winger to be able to cross in and cut in and act as a third man centre forward manually. De Bruyne, I would definitely get rid of De Bruyne for Eze. Um, I would always play Eze ahead of De Bruyne there. And Barilla, I would probably push him a little bit forward. Just that little bit of a, a difference there. But again, you've got your three centre-back meta there as well. So pretty decent. Uh, just switched this formation. It might look bad on paper, but I dominate with it in game. Things don't work out. I have the narrow meta formation as my sub-tactic. Looking for advice on which players I should try. Also, who would you recommend I play up top? Keen, Lataro, Jesus, or should I get the new CR7? So the one thing I see with this squad right, is you're using a very, obviously a very meta squad, but it's very, very, very attacking based, right, very attacking based, obviously you've got Fabinho from the Brazil pack, Marquinhos, Neymar, I would get rid of uh, Jesus, I would definitely use a target man, but that's just personally to me, because I don't want two similar players, let alone four similar players, Neymar, Messi, Modric and Mbappe are all run and gun players, run and gun and shoot players, cut in and shoot players, so I would probably take out uh, Jesus and I would bring in a target man. That's the first thing I'd say. If you're talking about going narrow, um, then obviously I'd have to see the sub-tactic, but I don't see it there. So we can only talk about what we look at here. And then we also have this one here as well, which is in from Sui, Su, Ronaldo. Um, so I don't think you'll be able to see that on the stream, lads, unfortunately. Dark Knight has one in as well, using Ronaldo, Mbappe, Salah. To be honest with you, man, if I was playing against you on this squad, depending on your skill level, this would be a team that I wouldn't really worry too much about because um, I feel like with the way that the gameplay has gone, you either need a crossing left or right winger on the width to have somebody crossing in. Salah and Mbappe aren't really that. But if you're playing with a three up front, just go narrow. There's no point to overcomplicate it, in my opinion. You know, I would probably play Mbappe... Um, through the middle with Ronaldo, and then have, you know, hull it back in a two-man with Rice. It depends if you want to win or not. I mean, you haven't said whether you this is just your team or whatever. This is another similar squad. I mean, I don't need to say much about this. I mean, all of you have good squads now, lads. I mean, it's more for, you know, ranking whatever you're going to be doing, I suppose. Uh, Omar says, I struggle to finish. Defensive midfield is solid, but my only goal scoring method is crossing. I'm not sure if it's the angles which I'm shooting, but I struggle a lot. Division 1 now, though. Well, the reason that you're probably struggling, man, I would say, is because you've set up your team um, without any real specific goal poacher in terms of a running gun. And if you're playing Division 1, that's what you need to play to, to be able to compete. Like, Rivaldo's a demon. You're playing an AMF and a DMF there as well. You're playing the Meta 3 centre-back. Pretty decent. Figo is just in for crosses. That's fine. I would probably switch out, and I would probably put... Um, Ah, oh, that's my back. I would probably put Inzaghi more of a central figure off the wing. So I would switch Inzaghi with Romanegi for back post crosses with Figo. Um, anything else than that? I mean, you're not really struggling too much if you're in Division 1, to be fair. And then last one that we'll do today out of this video will be this squad. Again, I don't really need to, I don't really need to say too much about this squad, man. I mean, this is um, P Nuggets, I think is his name. This is a, this is a fairly beastly squad. Saviola, Ronaldinho, Leao, Adriano, Vinicius Jr. I mean, this is a lot of money spent on this squad and you've pretty much got your worst rated player in the team is Marquinhos because Tommy Asu is 100 overall at CB. Um, 
like this is an insane this is an insane player man an insane squad Romario up front Messi Mbappe again I would definitely not recommend Mbappe on that that flank I would play Mbappe where Romario is I wouldn't play him at all um that's just me personally I would get somebody else in there that can offer you a bit more and obviously if you wanted to play a Ronaldinho there you could use that or Leao I'd probably play Leao or Vinicius Jr in that spot instead of Mbappe other than that it's fairly beastly Davids and Vieira both very similar players probably look to swap one of those out maybe but the rest of your squad is pretty decent. Tommy Asu, you could switch with Maldini, depending on what fa- lineup you're going to be facing. But yeah, it's a pretty beastly squad. So if you guys want to get involved, the Discord link is below in the description. Send your squads to this. But as I said, give me a bit of information in it, like Omar did here by saying he struggles with defense and midfield and all that, right? Because, you know, just putting up a squad like this, this is basically a show off your squad. You know what I mean? It's a beastly squad. I can't really say much about it because there's nothing to improve upon it. I mean, if you can't win with this squad, the squad isn't the issue, in my opinion. So that is it for another episode. We'll be back with another one very, very soon. If you want to get involved, get in touch in the Discord.